Published 2345 EDT, 20 September 2017 Updated 0730 EDT, 21 September 2017 Google has confirmed it will buy HTC's Pixel smartphone division in a $1.1 billion $0.8 billion pounds deal to boost its hardware capabilities. HTC will continue to run its remaining phone business, and the deal will not involve the purchase of direct stake. The Taiwanese firm made the hardware for Google's first Pixel smartphone, launched in October 2016. Scroll down for video. Google has confirmed it will buy HTC's Pixel smartphone division in a $1.1 billion, $0.8 billion pounds deal to boost its hardware capabilities. HTC made the hardware for Google's first Pixel phone pictured as its launch in October 2016. The deal marks Google's second major foray into smartphone manufacturing. It purchased Motorola Mobility for $12.5 billion $9.3 billion in 2012, and sold it off to China's Lenovo Group for less than $3 billion $2.2 billion two years later. Other hardware initiatives include its acquisition of thermostats maker Nest for $3.2 billion $2.4 billion in 2014. Doc product launches include voice-controlled speaker Google Home and Virtual Reality Device Daydream View. Google has recently sought to beef up its hardware capability with deals and product launches, and last year hired Rick Osterloh, a former Motorola executive, to run its hardware division. For Google, this agreement further reinforces its commitment to smartphones and overall investment in its emerging hardware business, Google said in a statement. Under the deal, the Internet giant will also receive a non-exclusive license for HTC's intellectual property. The transaction, which is subject to regulatory approvals, is expected to close by early 2018. HTC is a longtime partner of Google, and some analysts estimate that Pixel smartphones account for 20% of HTC smartphone shipments. But the Taiwanese firm, which once sold 1 in 10 smartphones globally, has seen its market share drop due to competition from Apple, Samsung, and Chinese rivals. Its sharp decline had some analysts questioning the wisdom of the deal. HTC has passed its prime in terms of being a leading hardware design house, mainly because of how much it has had to scale back over the years, as because of declining revenues, said Ryan Wright, an analyst at research firm IDC. Unless Google really wants to control hardware for its other businesses like Home and Chromebooks in addition to smartphones, then I don't see this as being a bet that pays off. The deal marks Google's second major foray into smartphone manufacturing. HTC's latest handset, the U Pictured, has a radical squeezable case that can be used to trigger commands. The feature had been rumored to appear in the next version of Google's Pixel, and the firm has bought HTC's Pixel mobile division outright. The move could allow Google to build on the success of the Pixel handset while allowing HTC to concentrate on more successful areas, such as its 5 VR headset picture that purchased Motorola Mobility for $12.5 billion $9.3 billion pounds in 2012, and sold it off to China's Lenovo Group for less than $3 billion $2.2 billion pound two years later. It's still early days for Google's hardware business, Mr. Osterlo said in a blog post. He added the business is focused on bringing together the best of Google software and hardware for a suite of its core products. Other hardware initiatives include its acquisition of thermostats maker Nest for $3.2 billion $2.4 billion in 2014, while product launches include voice-controlled speaker Google Home and virtual reality device Daydream View. HTC will continue to run its remaining phone business, meaning it will continue to produce its own models, such as the HTC U Ultra pictured. The deal will not involve the purchase of direct stake Google strategy of licensing Android for free, and profiting from embedded services such as Search, and Maps has made Android the dominant mobile operating system, with some 89% of the global market, according to IDC.But it has long been frustrated by the emergence of many variations of Android and the inconsistent experience that is produced. Pushing its own hardware will likely complicate its relationship with Android licensees, analysts said. HTC shares were on a trading halt on Thursday, and the stock has suffered steep declines over the past couple of years. It has fallen 12% so far this year, and the company is worth around $1.9 billion $1.4 billion.